right folks welcome back to my channel this is another spear fishing session this is part two of the local technique spear fishing technique called the o so this is o part two all right in this episode you'll find me right now i'm waiting for the fish there are a lot of chop fishes uh chop fish that are coming my way as you can see above uh you can see the shadows uh in front of me so what I didn't take my chance so I had to go back up and uh, breed so I missed my chance to shoot these fish however on my second dive uh, moments after this however these are this is the uh, this is a reef uh, at the barrier reef this part of uh, this is a spot that I uh, we found and this spot is always full of fish when you apply this kind of uh, local technique the hope so yeah, the, the O technique is very efficient. All right, so this is my second dive of the day. It went down. So trying to find a spot uh, next to this rock, this coral rock. And, you know, just find a spot. Try to hide myself and be still. And try to attract the fish. So right now I'm trying to attract. I saw some move. Moose, so I'm trying to attract them and one thing I learned about this uh, type of fish the moo they're very curious however they they can be very you know they they sort of tease you when you're down there because you, you have to hold your breath for a while in order for them to really come close uh, one technique is you have to look down on the sand because if you look straight when the moose uh, can see your eyes, your, uh, yeah, the, uh, your eyes, they can be very, you know, they can be very shy. So when you try to, uh, you know, drop down, when you look down at the sand for a couple seconds, that that really draws them over because you're looking down, they can't see your eyes. So right now, I I saw them near, took my shot, pulling it in, pulling it in. So this is a good size move. There were a lot of them here, so I was taking my chance and I shot it. By the way, these fish are very delicious. They're very good for, uh, you know, the, the dry grill. The dry grill, the local style grill. All right, so, all right, so I took the shot, took the move, put it on my floater my float line, uh, floater line so this is how I kill it with the spear just you know piercing it through the eyes uh, there, there are other ways to kill fish but this is my most efficient or the quickest way for me to kill or the, rather the preference this is my preference of how to kill the moo or any type of fish so the, the second shot I shot a chopped fish the curlel and uh yeah i i didn't record <laughs> my shot i just recorded right after i took the shot i forgot to press record so this is uh, the carlel the chop fish and uh, you know some people say trash fish but man this is not trash this is the best one of the best meat ever so this is my third dive so right there right now i'm really you know hunting not chasing Stand, I'm staying still, lying flat, one pack up, you know, I didn't find anything. However, uh, my partner here, he got a big moo. So, I heard him while I was down there, I heard he sh I heard a shot, so I immediately uh, serviced and I saw him coming up with a large moo. So this large moo, they're, they're, this spot is... Uh, very cool because it has a lot of moves and uh, all when you see a move that means there are other good fish as well that's a good sign when you see a move that means there's a lot of fish there will be a variety because I don't know why but they come uh, coming back with all these other fish all the other good fish like uh, unicorns job fish uh, snappers and all these other good fish so this is my uh, uh, another dive that I did so I'm down there trying to attract uh, moose again 
so I'm taking my time really staying still being patient and waiting for whatever fish that will come my way so it is best when you're down there uh, you know be still think positively I know the urge to breathe can be very uh, can be very you know can be very difficult at some times but you gotta you know fight beyond you know just fill your mind with uh, you know the good stuff positivity and be still so I'm waiting holding my breath down there waiting for the fish to arise or come my way so as you can see the moves so I saw them I saw a couple moves so I'm waiting for them to really come close in proximity to my spear gun so I'm really getting ready getting ready to take my shot you can see the, uh, some coral trouts some other uh, relative of the moo and I took my shot so the moo was in my proximity and I took the opportunity and executed the shot and serviced with a moo so that's my floater with the line and now I am as you can see that was a good shot it really you know this is this is not a stone shot but this can really stabilize them when you really you do a double shot on the body they the fish won't be able to move at all they lose their mobility so this is another dive I did going down so this spot uh, has a lot of uh, moves so as you can see it's getting darker because this is just a two-hour session we went out at four o'clock and you know just utilize four to five five to six and then return back to the land so that's the beauty of uh oh the technique oh you stay in one spot so as you can see um this is the same spot that i'm that i that i was so i'm staying still waiting for another fish to come my way waiting for another opportunity to arise so that i can take my shot so i'm waiting for the moose and all the other fish to you know take my path remember o is all about finding a spot where you know that the fish will cross your path so when the sun is about to set you know the the, the, the fish they have routes so if you find their routes and you know their routes that's a good spot and when you mark that spot and you keep on going there uh, you won't be disappointed the result will be very successful so right now I'm really waiting on you know holding my breath down here I know it is it can be very boring waiting for me down here but this is how you do it you gotta practice your you know your co2 table and your uh, uh, your oxygen table and your co2 tables in order to you know uh, in order to be able to hold your breath uh, for quite some time because the longer you wait the bigger the fish and the tamer the fish so as you can see I took my shot servicing right now uh, as I'm servicing my partner on the other side also shot another fish so that's the good thing about our spot so we had uh, uh, this spot is way better because he's taking shot on the other side while I'm taking my shots on the side on the other side so both of us are shooting at the same time so if we both shot at the same time that's two kill that's two fish in one go so another move killing it right now so yeah this spot is full of moves uh, for pana beans we call them uh mascot they're very good for grill local grill try grill so this is another dive as i descend slowly taking my time 
trying to be, you know, trying to be very cautious, very calm. Because if you're just, you know, you can really uh, chase away the fish if you're just, you know, casually going down without, you know, being still or finding a perfect way to take your dive. So I'm back to the spot next to the rock, hiding myself, being still, waiting for the fish to come my way. And then they came and I took my shot. I'm, I apologize for the camera. I'm still an, a newbie and I need to, you know, I need to master the mounting of this GoPro uh, onto my mask. So I took the shot. So this is a job fish, I believe so. Uh, but this is a very small one, but you know, the meat is good. So uh, it's a legal size though for us, but uh, the bigger ones, they tend to be outside the reef. And next time I go outside the reef, I'll really uh, shoot a bigger one. But these ones, they're good size. And you know, when you fry them, they're really good so I'm descending as you can see this is another dive so I'm really right now we're trying to attract this is the other spot that my partner was so we keep on switching if if my partner goes where I was I come to where he was so we keep on changing the uh, the left and right spot but at, on the same reef so right now I'm really waiting so this spot where he was, this is the spot that the job, the job fish comes. They, this is their route. But the other side belongs, uh, the other side that I was, belongs to the moose. That's the moose route. So I'm on this other side waiting for the job fish or the karkar. We call it the karkar. So as I'm really there, I'm really, you know, looking down and then there. The chop fish came my way. This is the karchagai. It's a bit darker than the karlel. So I took my shot. It was a perfect shot. It's a headshot though, but almost perfect. So I took my shot, stabilize him. Folks, this fish, any kind of uh, recipe or cooking style that you will apply to this fish, you will not be disappointed. The results will be very satisfying. So as you can see, um, this. So I shot it, put it to my floater, and then took another dive. All right, so this is another dive back to the moose route. So I'm descending, and I'm trying to see if there are any moose left remaining. I mean, there are a lot of moose, but when you you know shoot about four or five of them, they can be fair. You know, they take their uh, they can take a distance they're no longer within your proximity so you gotta sort of uh, go after them so I took another shot yes yeah, so, so this we call it bakas I haven't searched the English name but in the local language this this is bakas so this spot uh, it belongs to the moo and the and the bakas so this is a good sized bakas, but uh, part of the O strategy, you wait for these guys. So there are the bigger ones will come later. So the first one, the small ones will come. And then that's when you know that the bigger ones are coming next. So I took another dive. Because I saw the, uh, so this is uh, my partner's uh, spot on the right side. And as you can see, these are the relatives of the Barrett's. I took a shot. Uh, for the local language, this fish is called Momme. This fish is the best ever, or uh, it's the preference for many Bombians. And I think as well as uh, migration. I cannot speak for all migration, but for the Bombians, this is their go-to fish when it comes to you know sashimi this fish is very good for sashimi the local sashimi why because uh, when you 
you know unstale it and you clean it and you take out the sorry my partner just shot a big bagas so these are the big ones uh, that I was talking about so they take the route and unfortunately this day we only met one of the big ones so it was I was a bit disappointed because I wanted a big one as well but the, the small ones the, I mean the good sized ones were the ones that kept on coming so I I went down, descended, and you know, right now the pacas, this is their time. When it's about to get dark, that's when they start uh, taking your route. So I shot another one. This is a good size one. By the way, these fish, man, they're very good for frying. They're very good for frying. Uh, the fats, they just have a lot of fats on them. You know, the fish fats, and when you do a fry, and when you do sashimi, it's just yummy yummy so another dive so right now when you see that the fish are really uh, taking the route frequently you cannot be you know taking your time you have to be very quick you have to be responsive because the the opportunity the, the the window of opportunity is very short so you have to take your time you have to seize the moment shoot them while they uh, walk your bat until they you know go so another shot i took another shot this is another bacas uh, i took the shot uh, back to my float line so uh as i was saying about the mome mome is very good for sashimi because of the fats they tend to have more fats and the fats plus the liver when you uh, crumble the liver and uh, mix it with the sashimi it's very good so it's another dive uh, for the momme so as you can see I can see that the momme are still around they're still within this uh, within my proximity this is also their route so I'm waiting for them trying to attract them trying to attract them as you can see they're really uh, floating chum, chum, chum. they can really float they can really float yeah so as they're taking their time I'm also you know holding my breath down there and I took my shot boom took my shot yep so and I was late and it fell off my flubber. That was very disappointing. That was very disappointing. You know, with these fish, because they're very soft, you have to be, you know, quick. Because, you know, sometimes they can fall off the uh, flubber because they're very soft. So I went back to the, my original spot, which is on the left side at the most route. So as you can see in this video it's getting darker because it's getting yeah the time right now I believe it was around five o'clock already so the ocean I mean under the water is getting darker so I'm also you know waiting for the fish as you can see the fish they're taking their time So, I apologize for the camera. Oh. Yeah. Uh, next time I'll do a better job mounting the GoPro so that I can, you know, the GoPro can capture what I am really seeing. So, uh, the Mommy are, they're, they're also taking this route. So I'm trying my best to catch, waiting for them. Then I took my shot, stabilized one, and I serviced. So this is the this is the payment for the one that fell off my flopper in the previous clip. So I service. Now you can see the sun is setting. So, man, 
This fish is just very good. You know, it's the preference for most Pano Bays. And I believe that anyone who comes to the island, you'll enjoy this fish as well. It's not only for sashimi, folks. It's also for all sorts of uh, recipes that you'll apply. I believe you'll be satisfied. So as you can see, this is my last dive of the day. And it was already dark. But I could, you know, I could, there was uh, low visibility right now. But at least I can see the fish crossing my path. But the camera was not picking it up because I, uh, yeah, I didn't set it for, you know, I should have let, let in more light. But uh, clearly, it's the sun was setting. So I saw some trevallies. I think, yeah, as you guys can see. So I did call, I did the trevally call, and then I shot one. Uh, fortunately, I was able to execute the shot perfectly. And yeah, it was a beautiful scene. Just enjoying down there, down here. Uh, beautiful fish, beautiful day. Yeah, this is the bluefin trevally. These trevallies, they are very good. So right now we're done with the spearfishing session and we're very hungry. So as I said earlier, the mome was the preference for sashimi. So for our dinner today or this evening is the mome sashimi. So the, you know, taking the scene, absorb the moment. So you can see the beautiful Pana Bay, the sun is setting, wow. Uh, for folks out there, Bombay is calling on you. Take a tour, or come back, you know, visit Bonnet Bay. You know, Bonnet Bay will be in your hearts out there. And yeah, Bombay is still, still alive. Bombay is still awesome, beautiful. And for tourists, you guys come and enjoy the view, enjoy the landscape, enjoy the beauty of the Garden Island of Bonnet Bay. So this is the catch of the day folks, as you can see a lot of bakas, a lot of bulls and uh, chopped fish. Yes, yummy right? Man, I want to take back this moment. This was awesome, very yummy, delicious. You know, you don't need to bring salt because you already have the sea, the sea water full of salt. So that was our sauce, the salt water. As you can see that <laughs> bluefin still alive. And we're just enjoying, you know, rice soy. You know, just these are basic, basic local style, but very good, very healthy, I believe. And uh, it's just satisfying. Folks, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Swing by when you have the chance. I know tickets can be very expensive.